soon as the wall goes up. Bless looks to make a play and he does already. Bustio already falling. And a quick boss for Loud as now they continue to push forward. The defense is beginning to crumble for Hunter Thieves. Just one remaining. And it's Cryo. Currently tucked behind a smoke as reinforcers arrive. Planted. Knife will get info there. A crispy oh, shot a... from PCK early on. Yeah. A flash of Stone Scene goes aggressive, looks to get active. Last Bang is there to join him. He can't do much more though. The pistol, the way of the Brazilians. Austin have perched up with a satchel in his oh, face. He's able to drop QCK. Now the reposition off the nade. That's a big one. And that was QCK without a gun. So the rifles are still up. They're still ready. They're still heavy. Numbers advantage in favor of the attack. And as you mentioned, Dre, just a slight pause, just a moment to reset and reposition. And then I didn't clear bench, but that Prowler will. Kalanzin does not care. With the tether in his face, still plays alive. Still dances around Cryo, able to deal a little bit of damage, but now feeling some of the pressure. Trying to maintain poise. Trying to find better position. Finds one. Two more left to go. On the swing, less isolated. He gets it down to one. He's gotten three on the round. I just don't know that he has enough time. He doesn't. Ah, oh, two. He's with the reposition to close this round out. Point. Austin is the only one who's here. Reinforcements on the way, but will they arrive in time? Austin gets two. How much more can he find? Hasn't taken any damage. But QCK gets up close and personal, and he's overwhelmed. The duel is down. Now, how much more can they find in the face of the old Kamazine has to reposition? Still plenty of time, and look at this. Bang is ahead of it. He's already rotating back B. And I don't think they know he's here. He's only got 38, 6 HP, but he's gonna get him both! See the smokes go down the ult online. Asuna gets high ground as well, and he punishes Sadak. Oh, Asuna with the second. But Kawazin, there to, there to punch back, there to deliver a counter blow. The calamity leaves the reality of the tragedy. Cryo with three and Hundred Thieves with two. Early knife can attack on the bang. The fault line will catch him too. And now the ult's infested. The trifecta of utility instantly dropped. Again at the hands of Cryo. And they invest more. Boosty on the swing will fall. But Cryo will tee off. Two found. Numbers still in favor of the defense though. Spike not scooped up. Less with much to do on his own. Cannot convert. And they have 30 seconds left. They've got to go. And now the third layer into this goes down. And it's Asuna. Cryo gets another. Tui dancing around the smoke will respond with two of his own. Now the stimmy to speed things up just to slow him down. Less finding a gap. Not choosing to commit to the plan. With 13 seconds left, Less is now alone. He's been spectacular for this team, but with eight seconds left and the walls closing in, he cannot convert. A bit more decisive with this approach, but again, here's the freeze, here's the pause. And now QCK pushing forward, getting really intimate with Bang, but Lucio there to respond. How much further does QCK dare go? Be quick, but don't hurry here. Take your time. Be methodical with the approach. A perfect pit. Whoa! Possibly keep them back. And Asuna aggressive. Pit still in play. Oh, now it falls, but two is with two. Again, Cryo has been a monster. And he will continue to deliver. Bustio spotted Sadak's arm on the jiggle there. There's the tool. Unbelievable. And the Brimal to follow up. Everything falling apart for Loud. Meanwhile, 100 Thieves can do no wrong. The turning of the flash, the spike hits the ground. Oh my gosh. Less will not stand. To the space that they've garnered. Yeah, nothing else has been working for them. And it continues to not work for them. Kalanzin falls. Oh, that's the spike. They have nowhere to go, but Sonic somehow avoided it. He's able to keep him at bay. That could have been a bloody mess. But now silence creeps over the map. Right for reset. As Tui's controls the spray, drops Cryo. Finally, Cryo goes down.
Bustio's re-aggression straight into this market area. Left. He's gonna hear the footsteps. Catch Tui's off guard. What? As I say that, Tui takes his head clean off. Two big fights going the way of the attack. We haven't been able to say that much this half. But alas, that's where they are. Can he equalize? They're going back again. 10 seconds left. Ten seconds Should left. be able to get the spike down. It's going to be in the hands of Sadik. So ult online. But they've managed to keep him back now. 100 Thieves pushing forward. The rolling thunder pushes Bang back. Can he win this gunfight? It's a big one. Oh my gosh. He's gotten one. His Bang continues to dance around. Tries to stay alive. It's now on him. And Les strikes back. But uh, now, just a distant memory is they've got to focus on what's before them. The attack side of Bind, an ever difficult one. And with Lao drawing a line in the sand, it's going to be difficult to navigate. Spike down A. You can never count loud out. Spike. That's always been the name of the game when it comes to this team. No matter what the lead is. Dodging the first, deciding to play close. They can't know where he is. The flash in his face is all little B. Oh, the timing here. So awkward. Meanwhile, perfect. On the other side, EU gets three, but two, he's trying to hold them back. Will fall at the feet of Asuna. Les will not find any space on the other side of that smoke. Goes down, the satchels go out. Asuna goes up, and the shots go in favor of Bang. Now the spike planted. No real control of U-Haul. QCK and Tui's here trying to keep them at bay. He's got nothing but a sheriff. The Molly buys some time. Busio takes a step back. Look at how disciplined they are in this approach. They've got everything covered and they've got Busio pushing forward. Asuna and Cryo join in. Tries to go for a cheeky angle, but nothing is found. Meanwhile, the op on the other side of the slip map is gone. Hits the ground. Kawanzin does too. Thanks, Asuna, the thorn in their flesh, who will persist be as long as he may. Look at how they're focused on him. Look at how he is the tether to this, while the rest of the spike, the rest of the play is A. They have no choice. Now they've dealt with him. Now they bring Kawanzin back, but how much time has elapsed? You've got three mollies to deal with here and a tether. Seemingly a foregone conclusion. A foreboding moment for Loud. As it seems like a retake attempt will not come through. Les gets his three and tries to get away. But 100 Thieves will get to map point. The cutting of noise, the manipulating of sound, and now the decisive decision to go. Spike down B. Numbers in favor of the defense, though. So. Right there. And for 100 Thieves, given how things have gone down, they're ripe for reset. 30 seconds left. Bang does have this Viper's Pit. This could be everything for them. This could be the closing of this map. Yeah, can they close Bind down in numbers? Can they close Bind at a disadvantage? Can they find a way to make this through? Asuna looking for any free one he can find. 15 HP. Takes a step back. You see EU's position on your minimap, playing back in Octagon. He's the safety valve. The ult from QCK is methodical. It's patient, it's but it goes early. off with nothing. Meanwhile, Asuna gets three, Asuna gets four. And that's all it'll be. 13-6 in favor of 100 Thieves, map one. They can feel the win. I mean, one step closer, QCK falls. Just like that. Now they know where they are. As the utility erupts onto the site. 30 seconds a little bit left. of a one for one. A reset, much like we've seen before, but take a look at Bustio. He's on the flank. They have no idea where he is. It's all one. That's all it is. Kamati has to stay alive for less to try to find some time, but he can't. Now arriving with a ghost. Tries to find anything he can and will not convert. And just look at the reposition instantly. I mean, Sadhok's free peeking and all. Kral's getting ahead of the orb again. They challenge Cryo, and he's happy to answer the call. Cryo has been unbelievable this stage in how he's been playing. A third That's to his name. That's three. Last player standing. Busio gets the fourth, but with warning shots. The potential of a flawless round. 
And the potential of a snowball fully on mine here. Cryo's taking a little bit of damage, but Tui's feels the walls closing in. Another for 100 Thieves. Look at the delay, though. These mollies. Cryo with the off trying to find a target. Meanwhile, Bang pushing forward. Looking for more. The spike has somewhat made its way out onto the site, but it hasn't been far enough for them to be able to commit. I mean, Bang just stole that kill. But Sonic seals it right back. A labored attempt today. Ends in silence once more. The chaos has calmed down now. Loud cut noise. Placing swarm gr swarm grenade out. Just buying a little bit of time for the spike to go down. The shock in his face, the damage dealt, but the spike sunk. Now reposition as Asuna tries to catch a timing. And Asuna hasn't showed in quite a bit of time, so that's why Les is so dialed on the flank. This could open up an opportunity to take out Sadhawk. He has some util too, but he's just waiting. There's just no idea of where they are, and there he goes. The general falls. They're perfect. Les has to be clutch for Loud once more. Under duress, tries to make a play, and he cannot. Another stumbling block in the way of Loud, but finally, an advantage. Finally, a breath of fresh air. How much more can they find? As they try to overwhelm Bang. Can they do this though? Can they get the hang on this round? Can they get the hang of this map, of this half? Oh! Bang gets another. But space has been found. And Sadak has taken so much space. Hey, this Fox is a concern back. though, because if they try to rotate back, Asuna might catch them. Yeah, Sadak has gotten behind enemy lines, but he's the only one there. 30 seconds left. As the orb goes up, Asuna goes forward. He spotted one. Tries to land the shots on the less than he does. An overcooked call, potentially. Whew. And finally, they're able to stabilize. But it's so great a cost. 13 seconds left. The spike will go down. Ten seconds Shocks left. will connect. Spike planted. Oh. Wow. Sada with a snap onto EU. Looking to take matters into his own hands. And he does. Alarm bots have been traded. Sonic put his in the pit, so now they know there's no counter flank. Meanwhile, Les getting the best of Bustio, and that's Alarm Bot down. Now they can push forward. Now they can get a below. Bang has to try to do something on his own. And he gets a couple of kills. But that's not enough, is it? I suggest you move. A second reckoning. EU falls. Sonic is just taking over the game. But can he get it over the line on his own? Another clutch situation for the leader. An awkward gecko. Both targets spotted. None of them found. Wow. And so much to be oh, found. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That was almost oh disaster. Gosh. I mean, less fumbling utility like that. Almost making a mess of the situation. But Christ is averted. QCK falls again. And they're ahead of this. Loud need to double back once more. This is going to be scrappy. Such abnormal form. But the moment demands excellence, and it demands it now. And Loud find some space. They find another round. Go once again. The Reckoning repositioning oh as Cryo gets another. Bustio down low, joining in on the fray. But they still don't have all their members here. Loud have a numbers advantage here. If they strike, they can find some space, but Cryo hits another. Now Bustio finding a little bit more room. Gets it. Plus again, left. arriving just a moment too late. And the situation continues to slip away. Josh. Eight, two in favor of 100 Thieves. He's gonna go for broke. In the face of the lockdown, finds one and that's all it is. Delays for just a moment. As the cove goes up, the spike goes down. And they reset. How do they take this thing back? Trying to use the cove to their advantage. They're gonna stick Wingman on the first, not able to get it to half. So there's still much work to be done. Only two remaining for Loud. Kalanzine and Tui's against the world. Can they hold them back? The first will fall. Cryo gets three. And it's a 10-2 half. 
Neither allowed, it seems. Spike down <laughs> A. Cryo and Asuna get caught. The spike hits the ground and loud reset. That loud has to clear right now. Head on a swivel. Can loud win the pistol? The first one falls, but bangs there to trade. Oh, this mid lurk. There is a turret though. EU gets another. Bang finally falling. EU left in the 1v2. He has shocks. That's gonna hurt. He's gotten it to half. How much work can Sadak do? The second. He sticks it. There's nothing to keep him at bay. The pistol, the way of loud. A slight step back. And an op shot does not ring off. Bang again. Unbelievable performance from the youngster. And now 100 Thieves have all this space to go and all these kills to be found. Another two fall, Kalanzin and Tui's. Left to answer questions that their team have been un incapable of doing all series. You just gotta save. But a three into the face of five. A one for one goes the way of the attack and it's not getting any better. Less than two, he's again isolated. Loud, devastated. Cryo's a stone cold killer right now. You could see it in the face cam. He is so locked in. He's not even blinking. The resolute duelist going for more. And again, a, mi a mini game is a foot less. Can he keep this rifle up? Moment is now. Cryo, the first to fall though, as Asuna pushes forward there on the trade and he will not relent. He continues to go. Asuna attempting to put Loud away. With everyone around him, the Thrash invested. And QCK taking a step back, 20 HP with a Guardian in hand. Tries to deal some damage. Les does have a flank. Patience from Bang. Confidence everywhere. There's only two stand now. But they're not standing tall enough, Doug. No. Time is of the essence. They have to go now. And they will crumble for the first time ever. They'll be sitting on the sidelines as 100 Thieves survive.